Uh, this book here is a full-length novel called The Guy Killers. It's a uh, urban fantasy thriller. Um, it involves a young woman who was an art thief who goes legit and she is hired to recover two stolen Civil War pistols. As soon as she recovers the pistols, then she's chased by demigods and government agents in this nonstop thriller. And there's a character that appears in this book called the Night Ranger, and he is spun out into these two books here. This being the first one, codenamed Night Ranger, and in codenamed Night Ranger, the God Particle Conspiracy picks up where that one left off. My first novel was published in uh, 2013. I had a short story published in an anthology in 2012, so I guess 2012 is the very beginning. Um, uh, so far I had these three uh, printed works uh, that have been, uh, been published. Uh, I have uh, the sequel to this and the, the third in this uh, series, and then I have a couple of short stories that I've sold over the summer of last year. So I've got about three or four uh, physical books that will be coming out um, between now and October, and I also have several short stories, sci-fi, uh, mystery, that will be coming out as well. Because not only am I an author, but I'm also a visual artist, so I can definitely relate to the visual artists that are here. Uh, but being here as an author, uh, I'm proud and, and I feel very privileged to be here amongst these other uh, authors and these other artists and other, uh, other mediums. A lot of people don't know that they're African American uh, authors of science fiction or urban fantasy. They don't know that there are artists out there that uh, do other things, you know. So having that exposure, letting people know that we're out here, we have these things that are a little bit off the beaten track, then that's, that, that's very helpful, not only to us as authors and as artists, but also to the community so they can have that consumption of that.